about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we Hello, it is day one of the Love in the Night readathon and I just wanted to pop on and intro the vlog before it becomes clips of just things and me updating you on books. But first things first, here's my TBR real quick again. Bear in the Barista by Rebel Carter, Mooncakes by Suzanne Walker, Lenora by Chenica C. Higgins, Heart Song by TJ Klune, Queen Takes Night by Joey, uh, what is her name? Joey Sue Burkhart, and Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross. So I'm really excited to give these a go and see how it all goes. I've already started Raven Song since that is the longest book on my TBR. I think I'm gonna read Queen Takes Night today as well. So those are my starting points. It's Sunday, November 8th, um, and I'm excited to get to reading some more Paranormal this week, honestly. It has been a great escape, and it's been a welcome escape at the end of the day. We've had some good news since yesterday, and I feel like just a smidgen of hope at this point. Um, but yeah, we are gonna do this. It's gonna be a pretty chill week again. Like I said in my last vlog, I'm still injured. My foot is messed up <laughs> and I can only do so much and I can't really wear shoes. So <laughs> a lot of time at the house most likely and maybe maybe a drive through. We'll see, I'm really craving some bubble tea. So I might get that this week, I don't know yet. I have to see how my foot feels. But yeah, that's the big plan so far. I will update you later when I have more thoughts on my reading or some fun clips. Don't know. Hello, it's a uh, Monday. <laughs> Did I forget? I forgot what day it was, y'all. Wow, okay. So anyways, it's Monday. Hello, hello. I started the deal with the Elf King last night and I'm really, really liking it. I'll throw up the cover right here for you. Uh, I'm hoping to sit down and finish that today and then keep listening to uh shit <laughs> i have too many things in my pocket hold on oh um heart no heart song the other tj clune book and i'm hoping to keep listening to that here while i make my make myself some dinner um sorry for the lighting change i was coming to see what angus was eating off the floor it was nothing go figure i think i'm gonna just hang out and try and read that some here i've had a interesting morning to say the least which is okay I uh, I'm a little further behind than I wanted to be at this time of day I was hoping to be done with at least one book already but we're not and that's okay it happens I did have to film two videos and I do have to edit a video tonight so <laughs> I got a lot to get done today uh, and it's already 3 30 so party party it's fine we're gonna do it we're gonna manage this we got this on lock uh, I'm gonna go read and I will tell you my thoughts in a little bit. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Hello. Um, it's Tuesday. I'm messy hair pulled up still from yesterday, or like yesterday. And I'm about to make lunch, it's already noon. I, or it's already one o'clock actually, I lied. Um, I forgot to update y'all <laughs> any earlier. But last night I read Love Song, which is 2.5 in the Wolf Song series. And I cried, I cried a lot, I cried a lot. I haven't cried yet reading any of the Green Creek and I feel like I'm the weirdo, <laughs> but love song that made me cry boy did it make me cry um it was beautiful it was it definitely a spoiler so you need to read book one and two before you read it but i do think it's worth checking out on tj clune's website Whew, and cry a little <laughs> but i'm gonna fix myself a little bit of lunch here and then i've got to shower and i have to film some more videos because i'm trying to prep for thanksgiving so i am going to listen to more of for, no, not for their song. Of Hearts, no, Heart Song? Heart Song. Oh my gosh, I can't keep these titles straight. Well, I make myself some lunch and then I will update you in a little bit as I read more. I am like 45 to 50% through Deal with the Elf King, which I am counting for the readathon. I know it's not pure PNR, but we're going to count it. 
and I'm really enjoying the fact that the elves in this are definitely cruel and mean which is accurate to fey lore um because that's what he is he's a fairy uh, but it's more accurate to that lore and um it's interesting I'm very curious I definitely can see the like why fans of Sarah J Moss made like this and yeah it's definitely a good time I will like I said up to you soon and hopefully I'll get some more footage <laughs> later this week because uh, I'm a mess real real mess Actions will get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm Tonight's dinner Soup, ciabatta that's been toasted And has cheese on it Yum Okay, so quick Damn it, the battery's dying. So I feel like I'm doing a terrible job at vlogging, but today I have to film some more videos for next week because I'm trying to take the week of my birthday off and a little bit of that week of Thanksgiving. So I'm just trying to prep content and I had a makeup explosion. So now I just glittered my face. It's not too much on camera, but you can <laughs> definitely see a lot of glitter. And that's fine. Um, but basically, I wanted to update you. I have about three hours left in Heart Song, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm a, just over 50% through Deal with the Elf King. I'm also really enjoying it. And I think I misspoke earlier and called them Fae, the elves. They're not technically Fae. I feel like this is like, like I'm cheating, but we're gonna roll with it anyways, because I am enjoying the book. Uh, and I'm hoping to maybe read that tonight, like finish it up. We'll see how it all goes. On that note, I will be back in a little bit with more thoughts after I film a very important announcement video that you'll have already seen. It will have come up on Friday on my channel, but Wednesday on Jen's because Hot Mess Express. <laughs> Again, I'm just having a week and it sucks because like I'm loving the readathon. I love hosting it. I'm just like so ecstatic over everything, but having a week. With my own doubts. Good morning, it's Thursday, and I have an hour left in Ra Heart Raven's Heart Song. <sighs> I cried last night listening to it. And I painted my nails while I listened on a live read-in, so that was helpful. I'm going to finish it this afternoon. I'm about to have a productivity stream with Shay, and while I do that, I'm going to listen to my book, because I need to do some prep work for videos. I also have to edit a video, so in between those items, I will be listening. Hello, I actually finished a book. So, I haven't really talked about it this week, but I'm basically not sleeping. And it's a problem. And it's a problem because of this dog right here. He's not sleeping. And he's keeping me up all night. So I'm just super, I mean, I am beyond tired tonight, but I finished listening to Raven's song and it was so good. It was a five star read. Oh, I can't wait to start Brother Song. I'm not starting it during this readathon though. I am going to finish up Deal with the Elf King or start Barista and the bur Barista Barista and the Bear tonight on the live stream on uh, Laura's channel because yeah, I got to I got to do something. Um, I'm hoping to sleep tonight, but if not tomorrow, uh, my partner will take over on the sleepy issue duty. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at today. I am really doing terribly at this readathon and I'm just, I feel shitty about it because I'm a host and like I'm just having a bad week overall. So there's that. I will update you later tonight, hopefully with another book that I finished. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just finished Bear Barista and the Bear. I keep wanting to reverse the titles. It was so cute, y'all. I really, really enjoyed it. I am so glad I read that. It's by Rebel Carter. Here's the cover. Honestly, it just made me happy the whole time I read it. So it was solid three and a half, maybe four star read. Because if a book just makes you smile, what else can you do? Also, I feel very red right now because I have on my red sleep shirt and my nails are like a purple red as you can see kind of anyways and my glasses uh but that was so good i really liked it i really liked it a lot and um i can't wait 
to read more of that series. They're so quick too. You could read them in like an hour or so. Um, because I just finished that though, I'm going to start Queen Takes Night by Joey Sue Burkhart or something like that. I'll put it up right here. I'm already like one chapter in and I'm very intrigued right now by the setup. But I will update you in a little bit with more thoughts on that. I also realized I only have like three spots left on the bingo board now. So we're getting there. If I can finish Queen Takes Night and if I can read the uh, Wolf Gone Wild and a comic tomorrow, good to go. So that'll be good. I know I can read a comic and I think I can read Wolf Gone Wild tomorrow. So fingers crossed. I don't know if I'll finish Deal with Elf King in this vlog or not. Um, if I don't, it will be in my mid-month wrap-up, which is literally going up two days after this vlog. So, you will know my final thoughts very soon on that book. Hello. So, it's Friday. It's like 1.30. I've already finished Queen Takes Night by Jolie Sue Burkhart, and I've started book two, which is Queen Takes King. Y'all, these books. So first of all, content warning, if you can't tell from the cover, there's a lot of blood in this, okay? Like a lot. I have never once read a book that had me going, oh my God, ew, and oh my God, I can't put this down before, reading Queen Takes Night. Jen from the Book Refuge talked about it, and she was like, you've gotta read it. I finally did. I picked up the first book on audio through Scribd. I will have a link in my description box if you wanna try Scribd for 60 days free. If you use that link, you get 60. If you go to their website, you will only get 30 days free. I will get a free month if you also use it. You don't have to. Take your choice, hold on, let me get back in the light. Uh, yeah, so content warning, lots of blood, but delicious polyamory is happening. Lots of, lots of banging. Banging is the plot in this. This is definitely porn with some plot. Not porn with no plot, porn with some plot. It's very interesting, I'm very invested. Like I said, I immediately dived into book two. I don't do that very often. <laughs> so here we are. I'm very excited to continue reading it and see uh, how it is, how it, how it goes. Jen said the first three books are the best, so I'm probably gonna get through at least book two this week for the readathon, and otherwise I don't know, but uh, I've just gotta read one more, which is a booktube or his favorite, but I could also maybe count Ravensong for that because I did put the Green Creek Chiller Seed down. I don't know, I really still wanna read Wolf Gone Wild. I've put it on a couple TBRs and still haven't read it, so we'll see if I can get to it or if I'm just gonna spiral through the series, to be honest with you, I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'll update you later today when I've read more on the live stream tonight for three hours reading. Super excited. So I read Mooncakes in our first reading sprint and really, really liked it. It was a total blast of a comic, a solid four star comic. I got it from my local Hoopla. And now I've started Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross. So I will have some thoughts on it later. <laughs> So it's Saturday night, it's 8.26. I'm 20% through Wolf Gone Wild. I'm really, really liking it. My plan tonight is to try and read it. It says I have about four hours left, so I think I can finish it before midnight. Um, we'll see how fast I can read. So I'm gonna work on that. We just got off the live show. It was a total blast. I'm really just, I love all the gals in this readathon and all my fr new friends that I've made through it have been such a blast and yeah. I will check in first thing tomorrow morning to wrap this up and tell you if I finished Wolf Gone Wild and like quickly run through my reading. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Bye. So I'm back to wrap up Love of the Night. Um, I feel like an awful host. I did read though. Like I keep feeling like I didn't read any books and actually like I read a good bit. So I need to like turn that part of my brain off. But let's run through everything I read slash the bingo board real quick for you so you can know how I did. First of all, we have Rita Shifter novel, author of color, the group book. Um, and yeah, so those four, wait, those three were all 
Brisa and the Bear by Rebel Carter, which I gave a solid like three and a half out of five stars. Super cute intro novella to a very fun, quick series. There's only three books, and I definitely feel like you could read them very quickly if you wanted. Also, just they're very cute. Very cute faded mates. There are a hundred and some pages. There's not a lot of meat there. I wish it I actually wished it was a little bit longer. So there's that. Then we have Try a Different Style. I read Mooncakes by Suzanne Walker and Wendy's You. I believe. Here's the cover. This was a really, really adorable comic. I gave it four stars. It was missing just a little something. I can't tell you what that something was. I did have an arc of this, just so you know. Then we have read a sequel. I read Love? No. I read um, Brothers. No, not Brother Song. Oh my. Heart Song. Wow. I told you all, I'm never going to get these names right. Heart Song by TJ Klune, which is the third book in the Green Creek trilogy. Trilogy? Quad, quad, series. It's a ser My brain cannot think of the words my mouth needs to say. Anyways, this was a solid five star read. I really have loved this series the more I continue in it. I cannot wait to dive into Brother Song. Uh, then for Rita Host Favorite, we're also kind of counting Heart Song because here's the deal like three of the five hosts, six hosts, three of us love this series. So me, Steph and Crystal all love Green Creek series and we all had recently started it and read it. So I'm counting it for Rita Host's favorite because it is definitely our, one of our favorites. Um, it also counts for read an LGBTQIAP plus title and a booktube darling because TJ Clune is beloved by a lot of booktube. Then we have um, read a uh, vampire novel. And I read Queen Takes Nights by Jolie Sue Burkhart, and this is my new addiction. It's all I want to read, and that's part of what happened at the end of the readathon. Is I was like, no, I need to read other things, and instead I just wanted to read all of that series, which I'm already like halfway through book two. But I did read two other books that don't technically count for any prompts, and I'm in the middle of a couple books which I'm going to tell you about before we wrap this up. So I also read Love Song, which is 2.5 in the Green Creek trilogy. I can't tell you anything. I can't tell you anything about this at all. Besides the fact that it made me sob. Like I straight up sobbed at my desk. So that's a thing I did that I don't do very often. I am currently in the middle of three paranormal books that I'm going to be finishing up hopefully today. It's Sunday as I film this update and post this video to you. So I am in the middle of A Deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova, which I'm really enjoying. I just I wasn't in the mood for as fantasy heavy as it was, so I decided to kind of push it to the side. I'm going to try and finish it up today so I can talk about it in my mid-month wrap-up. Uh, I'm also in the middle of Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross, which I'm really enjoying. It reads much more contemporary than a lot of paranormals. It's very fun. I love the witchy family setting and New Orleans setting is always fun. Paranormal in New Orleans is just always a blast, y'all. Like, I don't know. I'm partial to it. I can see a lot of it because I've been to New Orleans a lot. I used to live in Louisiana. Uh, not in New Orleans, but you know, so we would go down there a lot to go do stuff and um, so I can just I can see it In my mind's eye and it's great. The other thing is I'm reading Queen Takes Night by Jolie Sue Burkhart I'm listening to this on audio. All of these audios again are on Scribd and Hoopla it looks like so it's also on Kindle Unlimited the series You definitely can check it out pretty easily Content warning for blood. I mean look at those covers. They're very gory. I think if you're open to it Give it a try. It's gonna surprise you. I definitely did not think I would like it I don't like getting my blood drawn. I hate getting shots. I hate all of that stuff I don't watch surgeries like I don't like blood, but somehow this book makes it real hot Those are all the books I read for love in the night and it was such a blast Thank you so much to all my co-hosts and for letting me join y'all in this. I'm just so happy we did it. It was so fun. I really, I need to incorporate more paranormal into my regular reading habits. I'm sorry this vlog was crap. I'm sorry I got no sleep, but you know, I committed to it, so we're putting it up. Like that's, that's how it works at the end of the day. It's gonna go up. Uh, be sure to look in the description box for links to any of the books I read and talked about. Links to Scribd if you wanna sign up. Also, there is a link to all of my social medias, including Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also find the link to the Romance YouTuber Discord, where you will find discussions about various readathons happening, romance books, and all the other fun things going on in rom the romance world. Uh, I will see you again in a few days with my next video. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye, y'all.